to my channel today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how I film and edit my videos being a smaller youtuber and not having the equipment I don't have any lighting I don't have an actual camera so I just use what I have to film my videos I'm actually using my phone and I am using the iPhone 8 plus I'm filming in 4k 30 which is a I'm guessing a higher resolution um, when I actually know what a 4k 30 is I'll put out the information here so my iPhone 8 plus is currently filming in 4k 30 and based on what I was using before I was using an HTC M8 and my iPhone SE to record my videos the quality is way better it's a lot clearer and it just picks really well off of natural lighting so that's what I used to film um, if you guys are wondering how I look at myself when I record I use my tablet yes I use my tablet as a viewfinder which is so weird um, a lot of videos that I was looking at were using Apple products and I don't have a Mac I have a PC and I have a tablet I have a Samsung Galaxy or Android tablet it's 8 inch and that's what I use as my viewfinder I enable screen mirroring on my iPhone which then picks up off my tablet or my PC so the program that I use on my PC is called I think lonely screen or loner screen um, once I find the correct name I will again put the name here and I'll put the link in the description box that you can use to download it automatically picks up as a air drive or an air device or whatever as would be for like your Mac or something or if you have Apple TV that's what it generally picks up off as and I don't know I was just researching like how to mirror my screen or use my iPhone as or use a like my tablet as a viewfinder for my iPhone so that was something else that I use for my PC if I want a bigger screen generally I use my tablet so the product not the product the program that I'm running on my tablet is called think air reader again I'll put the name here and what it looks like if I can unplug my tablet really quick before it dies um, this is what it looks like so I'm filming and I'm seeing myself on my tablet which is kind of cool okay so what you do is you go into Play Store you download the program straight to your tablet um, if you swipe up on your iPhone it's gonna say like air drive or something like a little triangle with a box you click on that and it will find the tablet or whatever other mobile device that can connect with your iPhone I guess via using an app so I will show you guys an example of how that looks like when I'm connecting it from my iPhone to my tablet and I just showed you what it looks like so that is how I use my tablet as a viewfinder or my PC so basically this video is just showing you guys like you can use what you already have to film your videos and it's not really necessary to like go out right now especially if you don't have a big subscriber base to buy like a fancy camera and like a fancy viewfinder and like all these expensive products so just using what you have even if you don't have an iphone 8 plus or whatever you can use a 7 or a 6 or an se like what i had that films perfectly fine all you really have to do is find good lighting or you know you can make like your own lighting ring i might make a video on how to do a diy um ring light and see how that works but yeah so besides from filming and using my tablet and my laptop as a viewfinder i also edit and export my videos on youtube on my phone as well so my phone i think is a 64 gig yeah it's a 64 gig iphone and the programs I use are iMovie and Pocket Video. So iMovie allows you to create trailers or edit your actual YouTube videos. Um, you can put um, text in your videos, you can overlay, you can zoom, you can freeze, you can change the quality, you can change the color, the saturation, the resolution, a whole bunch of stuff you can do on iMovie. And after you finish editing your, your videos or whatever on iMovie, you can export it, it saves into your photo library, and then you can upload it to YouTube, or you can directly upload from the app straight to YouTube. But I usually like to export in the app to make sure that I have the video in my phone saved, and then I upload. Um, another program that I use, and this is what I use to film my intro video, my little nostalgia thing, 
um, I use pocket video so pocket video is kind of cool on its own the downside to it is that you can only edit videos that are about 10 minutes long I believe I'm not sure if you have to maybe buy the app to um, get access to more stuff on it on its own yeah but I use that to film my intro so the good thing about this app is that you can actually draw objects it has like preset um, templates for like words so for example I'm using this good morning thing um, that's like a preset template you can choose and it has like different special effects you can search um, GIF stickers so the ones that I use was the pictures of a cat since this video <coughs> Is showing pictures of my cats so um, you can search up different things you can search up like a flag or like a twerking or something and random stuff will come up and, and you can attach it to your videos you can do voiceover you can also do voiceover in iMovie but you can do voiceover on this um, you can actually either make snapchat videos on there Instagram videos um, YouTube videos or custom videos and what this does it sets to whatever social media outlet you're um, uploading these videos to it actually sets the time frame so you're not like over recording and it makes it difficult for you to like edit or cut down on some of the um, footage that you have so I really like that app I also use photo grid if I want to upload a clip video to my Instagram or my snapchat um, because they have like a certain amount of um, footage you can upload on those social media outlets and also um, the sizing of the video is usually off um, if you upload a video on Instagram story it's like zoomed all up in your face if you use photo grid you can actually shrink it down to a good sizing for you to upload and so like your followers or viewers can see whatever you're showcasing properly so this is just a quick video on the, what I use to record how I see myself how I upload um, my videos on YouTube it's just a really short video maybe I'll make another video um, when I get more products or more techie stuff to film my YouTube videos with and um, thanks for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and if you're interested in tech stuff be sure to check out the video that I uploaded on my Google Home Mini it is up and live right now and I will put the video right here so you guys can just go ahead and click and watch it and thanks for watching Thank you.